Namaste to all. I was reading a beautiful article written by my Acharya, and in that, my Acharya beautifully describes the definition of swarg and narag from Atharveda. My Acharya writes: There is no heaven and hell in the sky. As per Ayurveda mantra 7 by 48, one has to face the result of his pious deeds and sins after getting bodies of living beings. So Atharveda mantra 6 by 120 by 3 states like this. The mantra is like this: Om Yatra Swahar Dah Sukruto Madanti Vihay Rogam Tanvah Swaya Ashlena Angira Hruta. स्वर्गे तत्र पश्येम पितरौ च पुत्रान् दिस मंत्रा स्टेट्स दैट द मैरिड लाइफ वेयर द नॉलेज ऑफ वेदास इज गेन्ड डेली यज्ञ इज परफॉर्मड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अष्टांग योगा इज डन एंड दस कंट्रोल ऑन सेंसेस परसेप्शंस एंड माइंड एग्जिस्ट द एल्डर्स आर रेस्पेक्टेड एंड बाय हार्ड वर्किंग द सफिशिएंट अर्निंग टू फीड द फैमिली इज जनरेटेड members of the family possess simple good nature and are soft spoken etc then the said family is experiencing swarga that is called as heaven in english that is divine bliss divine happiness and tension free long happy life and the contrary to this is called as hell that is naraka so we have to be always away from blind faiths of the so called self created religions which makes an emphasis on swarga and naraka that if we do if we follow that religion we'll go to swarga etc that has to be understood we can understand vedas from an acharya and then we can be away from the blind faiths thank you so much namaste om